I'm Matt Lewis with MLF Legal. Welcome to this week's episode of our General Workers' Compensation Issues series. And today is episode 35 on extent of injury. And extent of injury is really one of the most vital issues in a workers' compensation claim. It's the biggest game that insurance companies play. And that's why you have to know how to play that game too. In most workers' comp claims, the insurance company accepts liability for a very minor injury, like a bruise or a sprain or a strain. And then they deny liability for the serious injuries, like a meniscus tear or a herniated disc in your back. And it doesn't matter that you fell 15 feet off a scaffolding and landed on your back. The adjuster is going to claim that anything other than a bruise was pre-existing. Now, these types of cases are called extent of injury disputes. And they work for insurance companies because the law requires injured workers to prove what their injuries are and that the injuries were caused by the work accident. And sometimes that's pretty hard to do. So everyone you know, kind of understands how a broken arm results from falling and landing on an outstretched arm. But very few people understand how lifting a box can result in a herniated disc in your spine. When injuries are hard to understand, they're often pretty hard to prove as well. If you want to beat an insurance company at the extent of injury game, you have to get the right evidence. The first thing you need is a good diagnosis. If your doctor thinks you tore your rotator cuff in your shoulder, you better get an MRI so you can prove that there's actually a tear in your shoulder, because you have to prove what your injury is. The second thing you have to do is prove that the work accident caused the injury. And this is the hardest part of an extent of injury dispute. And it's also why the insurance companies deny most injuries and make you prove it. It's so hard to prove that they think they can beat you every time. Don't get lost in the fact that you never had the problem before and now that the accident's happened, you have all of these major issues and you can't go back to work. That kind of an argument doesn't win. You have to have an expert opinion from a doctor explaining exactly how that accident caused your rotator cuff tear. And we call that a causation letter. Tune in again in two weeks and we'll present the ingredients of a winning causation letter. Remember to always work safe, but if an accident happens, call MLF.